Okay, so welcome back. This is video number two. And let's talk about the good and the bad when it comes to CPA networks. So the purpose of this video is to reveal to you why this industry can sometimes get a bad name and how you can go about protecting yourself and what to look out for. So when you join a CPA network and you start to generate leads, you have to understand that a lead is not considered a lead. Now, what do I mean by that? What I mean is that not every lead is created equal. So you'll have some good leads and you'll have some bad leads. Now, because some leads are good and some are lousy, if you accidentally send a CPA network bad leads, uh, they have the potential of either scrubbing and doing what we call scrubbing, which is lead cleaning. So you might have sent a thousand leads, but they're only going to pay you for 10 of them because the thousand may not be good. So if you had, you know, spent maybe $200 or $300 to get those leads, then you're out, you know, they may shut your account down and say, well, you're sending lousy leads. So we're not, we're just not going to pay you. Now, while that does seem like a legitimate reason, right? As an advertiser is let's say a thousand people sign up and then 999 people unsubscribe within minutes, then that's potential fraud, right? Now, you may not know that as somebody who is driving traffic. So there are specific elements that you can adhere to to increase the quality of your traffic. So, for example, let's say that you get paid for every single lead that installs an iPhone app. As you can imagine from an advertiser standpoint, if you were to send a thousand leads to install that app, but 999 people within minutes unsubscribe that app, that's going to look a little bit suspicious. So if you are the advertiser and you're paying a thousand dollars and those 999 people are illegitimate, of course, as an advertiser, you're not going to want to pay that. Now, as an affiliate generating those leads on the flip side, you're going to be upset because you spent that money to send to them. Now, Going beyond that, some affiliate networks can further scrub those lists either for legitimate reasons or illegitimate reasons. Sometimes they may have maybe an advertiser who just decides to up and cancel. So in that case, the affiliate network is going to lose money. So sometimes they'll shut down your account for those reasons. So not getting paid is a big Thing. So yes, this happens sometimes, even if you were to send a really high traffic, sadly. So the way you protect yourself is to only use CPA networks that have proven themselves, proven their worth and have good reviews. Now, some networks have a really bad reputation of just not paying at all. And you can usually find this information out. So how do you go about protecting yourself? We'll talk about that in video number three. 